Welcome to this video on creating a small application in a windowed environment in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and before I get into the detail of this program I'm going to show you what the program looks like when it's running. What I get is a frame with a combo box on it, a drop-down list. When somebody clicks on an item in the list and clicks the finish button some text appears in the center area. I'm now going to choose a different person, click finish and the text changes. It's quite a simple program but it demonstrates all the key aspects that you need to be able to create a Java application. Let's start at the beginning. The first thing I need to do is to create the controls that will go on to the frame. In this case I'm going to have a combo box which I'm going to call CMB Tutor and that's going to hold the names of the tutors. That's a new J combo box. Next I need the text area in the middle of the screen. I'm going to call that TXT Response because that's the response that the user will see and that's going to be a new text area that has 20 lines and 43 columns. Actually it depends on the font size and the font type as to how big the area actually is but we're just using the defaults here. So in this case 20 and 43 work for this particular sized frame. And finally I'm going to create a J button I'm going to call it button finish and it's going to be a new button and with the text finish on it. So we've created these variables, these controls, but we haven't done anything with them. Now in this case I'm going to use a border layout. A border layout has five areas north, west, centre, east and south but I'm only going to use three of these five areas. I'm not going to use west and east. Now let's have a look and see how the program works. I'm going to create a panel called top and I'm going to set its layout to flow layout. I'm going to create a panel called mid and that is also a new panel with a flow layout and a panel called bot which is a new panel and also set to flow layout. The panels have their own layouts. You can have different layout managers on different panels. Now I'm going to populate the combo box with the three names in this example. So I'm going to add Andy, Asif and Chris to the combo box list. I'm now going to put together all the bits I need to make that top panel. I'm going to add a new label that says select your favorite tutor and then after that will come the combo box that we've just created. That will go into the north panel. For the mid panel I'm going to just add the text area txt response. And for the south area I'm going to add a button finish. So there's going to be a button at the bottom. But we need to add these panels to the frame, to the border. So I'm going to add top to north. So the panel top goes in the north section of the border layout. The, pan the panel mid goes into the center area of the border layout and the panel bot goes into the south area of the border layout. Now I need to set visible to true but I also need to make sure that Java knows to listen out for somebody clicking the button. So button finish is going to have an add action listener added to it. When that happens some code is performed from the action performed method. That takes a variable called E which is an event. 
So action performed checks to see which event has happened. We're going to see if the event source, so the thing that actually created this event, is the same as button finish. It might be the user resizing the form. It could be all sorts of things. But we want to check whether button finish was used. If it was, we're going to set up a string called comment. At the moment this will be empty. But we're now going to check whether the item that got selected was equal to Andy. If it was equal to Andy, we're going to change the string comment to who is he, new line. Is he really any good? Then we've got an else if. We're going to see whether the item selected was equal to as if. If it was, the comment is going to be well selected, new line, a jolly good chap. And finally we're going to trap any other option that the user may have chosen, which in this case could only be Chris because there were only the three options. And the comment is going to be quite understandable, new line, he knows his onions. Then we're going to set the text area text to whatever the comment is. So that comment will now go into the text area in the center part of the border layout. There's quite a lot there, so let me show you that program running again. Here's the frame and it asks to select your favorite tutor. By clicking on a tutor and pressing the finish button, a message appears in TXT response. If I change the lecturer and click finish again, the response changes. Now I can change the size of that form and the pieces stay in their correct area. But I have only used three sections of the border layout. North, Centre and South.